in the last lecture we solved two problems and in this lecture also we will continue with the problems so let's start the discussion on the third problem till now the third problem is having the relationship like this y t equal to x t over t and we are required to find out whether the system is stable or unstable so x t is the input to our system and our system is having the output y t and it is equal to x t over t and to solve this problem I will take x t equal to 2 because we already know 2 is a DC value it is a DC value and DC values are bounded in nature so we have taken bounded signal as our input because we need to satisfy the BI BO criteria so we have taken bounded input and now we will feed this bounded input to our system and let's say the output of the system is y dash t and you can see the functionality of the system it is dividing the given input this is the input it is dividing the given input by t so the input is 2 so the output will be 2 by t this is what we have after providing the bounded input 2 now how we can analyze the nature of the output whether it is bounded or unbounded for this let's say time t is very small it is almost equal to zero it is approaching to zero it is almost equal to zero or we can say t is equal to zero plus when approaching from the right side and t is equal to zero minus when approaching from the left side so when you approach the zero from the right side and you are very close to zero almost equal to zero we call it zero plus and when you approach the zero from the left side and you are very close to zero almost equal to zero we call it zero minus so t is approaching to zero it is very small and when you divide this two by a number which is almost equal to zero you will get infinity so when t is approaching to zero y t will approach to infinity so you can see the magnitude or the amplitude of the output is infinity when t is approaching to zero and this tells us that the output is unbounded the output is unbounded so for bounded input for bounded input we have unbounded output therefore our system is unstable and as we have obtained the result unstable for DC value there is no need to check for other bounded signals because if you have the unbounded result for even one type of bounded signals the answer will be unstable now let's move to our next problem the problem number four in this output y t is equal to dx t over dt so here we are differentiating the input x t is the input we are differentiating the input one time and it is giving us the output so this is what our system is doing this is the functionality of the system and again we will follow the same steps we will take we will take x t as some bounded input bounded signal and let's say this time x t is constant it is a dc value and it is equal to 4 we will feed it to our system and the functionality of our system is to differentiate the given input the given input is 4 so our system will differentiate 4 with respect to time let's say the output is y dash t it will be equal to differentiation of 4 with respect to time 4 is constant it will not change with time so d4 is equal to 0 so the differentiation is equal to 0 so we have obtained a finite value as our output when we have the bounded input given to the system so for bounded input we have bounded output so we can say that our system is stable from this discussion we have obtained the result as stable but I want to check for other bounded signal also and this time I will take the unit step signal I will feed it to our system the same system this time let's say the output is y double dash t this representation does not mean we are double differentiating 
the given input y double dash t is just a representation you can make it instead of y double dash t you can make it y subscript 2 t and it will be equal to differentiation of unit step signal and we already know differentiation of unit step signal is equal to impulse signal and impulse signal is unbounded in this case we have the unit impulse signal and unit impulse signal is unbounded because it will have the infinite magnitude when t is equal to 0 so the output is unbounded for the bounded input therefore the system is unstable and as you can see we have obtained the unstable result for one bounded input signal stable as the nature of the system is not valid the system will be unstable so this is all for problem number four and now we will move to the homework problem i have taken this homework problem from gate 2006 electrical engineering paper in this problem a continuous time system is described by y t equal to e raised to power minus mod x t where y t is the output and x t is the input y t is bounded only when x t is bounded only when x t is non-negative only for t less than equal to zero if x t is bounded for t greater than equal to zero and the last option is even when x t is not bounded so complete this sentence y t is bounded and complete this sentence by choosing the correct option out of four options given here and once you have your answer don't forget to post it in comment section it will help others to find out if their answer is correct or not so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one